Welcome to another episode of Lifestyle After Five, the Reinvent Yourself series. I'm Ali. Yeah. I'm Lord Shu. Yeah. Yeah. And we got a tip for you. What if I told you that there is actually a benefit to getting getting up and getting dressed within one hour of waking up and don't forget to make your bed? Maybe there's a reason why the military does it. It's, it's mandatory, you know. Get up, you don't lollygag around. Get up, you get dressed, you make your bed up. That sets the stage for a productive day. I agree. It really does. Uh, like you said, the military, they they have that set up. And also, um, I think I mentioned before in this series about Ayurveda. And uh, we, we talked about it a little bit. But in mm -hmm. Ayurveda, essentially, your morning starts before the sun comes up. So... We, you know, it could be an hour, two, three hours. You know, sometimes I wake up two hours before the sun comes up. So it makes a huge difference. It, like you said, it sets the tone for your day. But also, um, if you're not rushing, like if you wake up rushing, you're going to be rushing just the whole week. The whole week's just going to be a rush. So uh, today we're going to help you set the tone for your day. Also, um, helping you make some good choices, how to start the day right. You know, you name it, we're going to probably go over it a little bit in this episode. So basically, if we're going to get started with the productivity. So if if you get up and you start your day, right? You you already should have like a, a nighttime routine, but you know, this is just an honorable mention. Nighttime routines are elite. So when you wake up the next day, Everything that you had planned for the day before, it now it's, it's already easy to get going. So now you're just getting up, getting ready, handling your morning routine, which could consist of, like Ali said, making your bed, you know, some light exercising. You know, we'll be talking about exercising later in the series. Um, eating breakfast, you know, simple stuff like that. Now, depending on when you wake up, because I, I tend to like to fast all the way up until like the afternoon. But if you like to eat breakfast early in the morning like that, then, you know, picking the right foods makes a difference too. So having the right amount of time, that one hour makes a difference. You know, you can actually focus on doing things with, with a mindful attitude. You know, you're not just rushing. So, uh, Picking the right things to do in the morning time makes a difference towards productivity and then also adds to the pro productivity of what you'll end up doing the rest of today or the day rather. So helps you transition from sleep mode to active mode. And basically what that means is when you first wake up in the morning and you're like, don't press snooze a thousand times, but you're kind of still in that snooze mode, mm -hmm. you know, waking up and giving yourself an hour to wake up, you know, instead of just waking up, shower, eat 10, 15 minutes and you out the door in traffic, still half asleep. You know, that's, that's just a cause for an accident and you're not going to be fully productive, you know, and that's the point of getting sleep is to be a productive person the next day. So establishing a morning routine will help you gain a sense of control over your day. Overall, just making it easier to, think better and picking out the right mm -hmm. habits, you know. Absolutely. Yeah, just just increase overall production in general, so. You definitely don't want to forget your hygiene. One yeah, of the quickest ways to help, that will help you out as soon as you wake up is getting up, going in the bathroom, washing your face, brushing oh, your teeth, yeah, yeah and, and getting dressed. Just putting that water, that hot water on my face does something. Now some people shower as soon as they get up first thing in the morning. I prefer to take a shower at night and be fresh in the morning when I get up. I, I don't like, I, I don't, I mean, everyone has their own choice, but I'm, I, I just can't understand being out all day in the elements, touching things and then getting in my bed, putting all those yeah, that's crazy. And bacteria through the, you know, all those <laughs> elements throughout the day, Ugh. laying down, putting them in my bed. I, I can't even go to sleep without a shower uh or something I, I i'll stay awake i, I just feel unclean in, in, in my bed you know, i just think my bed is dirty <laughs> no, i changed the sheets yeah so yeah 
Get up there and get your get your morning routine. Get up there, you know, put your lotion, moisturize yourself, brush your teeth, wash your face. That can go a long way. Make your bed up, go eat that breakfast. And I was reading something today and I and I need to do a little more research. They were saying if you if you drink coffee or orange juice, eat breakfast or, or any anything acidic, you should wait 30 minutes before brushing your teeth or it can affect your enamel. Yeah. So that was a new one on me. See? I came across the day online. That's why I be fasting, man. <laughs> fasting. You don't even got to worry about that. By lunchtime, you know, you didn't drink enough coffee or tea to get your, your stomach right to digest these these foods. And then either way, like he said, acidic foods just in general is, is crazy to start that's the morning a, with. Also great if you can get you some morning yoga or light scratch in there. That'll really yeah. boost your productivity and your mood. See, morning workouts, I'm telling you, if you work out and then go to work, I'm telling you, your whole day is going to be different because you already going to have it. Yeah, you're right. It, it, it is. I mean, it's hell getting up. Uh, many, many mm -hmm. years ago, back when I was in the military, I would get up sometime at 5 a.m. and go to the gym and work out. It was yeah. hell. Once I got, got to the gym and started working out, I felt fine. It's just getting there. And like yeah. I said, you're right. Throughout the day, I'm, I'm energetic. I'm good to go. And then when I got, got off, it's like, my time, I got to relax. My time yeah. was my time. I didn't have to run into the gym or anything. Your body, uh, your body gets into a rhythm doing that, and then it knows like, okay, the this this part of the day started now. This part of the day, I need to be like winding down. Mm -hmm. So imagine winding down, and then boom, I'm in the gym, and lifting weights, going hard. Like you're gonna be twice as tired. Then you're trying to run, operate off of that energy, burnt out. Then you got to make decisions. Like it's just. It's too much on your mental yeah. state. Yeah. That's I'm glad you said that though, man. It's I think it does make a huge difference to wake up and then do some yoga. It, it don't even gotta be no full 30 minute to an hour routine. Just 10, 15 minutes go a long way for real. Exactly. Well, as always, if you found value in these series, don't forget to like, subscribe, share. Uh drop some, some comments in the chat. You know, yeah. Leave us some comments. We want to know about your routine, how your morning routine. Your journey. Yeah. We, we're how not going to judge you if it's trash, okay? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, leave, leave us some comments, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Peace out, y'all. Sliced out. Until next time. Peace.